A gunman opens fire in the baggage claim at the Fort Lauderdale Airport this afternoon, killing five people and wounding eight others before he was finally taken into custody. You're getting a live look at the airport right now. The attack sent panicked passengers running out of the terminal and on to the tarmac. We are following the latest of this breaking story out of Fort Lauderdale, where many people from Columbus had just arrived and they were in the baggage claim area when that shooting took place. Good evening. I'm Mike Jackson. And I'm Ellie Merritt. Tonight, NBC4 has team coverage. Our Courtney Yoon and Ted Hart are standing by live. They are at the John Glenn International Airport, where passengers left earlier today before landing this afternoon in Fort Lauderdale. Also, NBC4's Mark Taylor, he's at the Watch for Alert Desk. He just spoke with one of those passengers, an eyewitness to the deadly shooting at the baggage claim. But first tonight, we begin with Karen Kefla. She is live in Washington, where the president is monitoring the situation with the national security advisors. They're bringing him up to date on the latest developments that have occurred in South Florida. It has been a very chaotic afternoon at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. All of this starting to unfold about four hours ago at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. A shooting in Terminal 2 that has resulted in five people dead, eight others injured, and for a while, a chaotic scene where many thought there may be another shooter. That shooting uh, was left unconfirmed, and law enforcement officials believe now they have their single suspect in custody. We have uh, the shooter in custody. Uh, he's uh, unharmed. No law enforcement fired any shots. The subject is being interviewed by a team of FBI agents and Broward Sheriff's Office homicide detectives. And that is where that investigation begins. This shooting took place in the lower level of Terminal 2 at the Fort Lauderdale Airport by the baggage claim. The suspect has been identified by Senator Bill Nelson and multiple law enforcement officials as Esteban Santiago, a former member of the Alaska Army National Guard. Law enforcement officials say he was a passenger on, on flights that went from Fort La to Fort Lauderdale from Alaska he traveled with a checked gun. Sources say he claimed his bag and then later took the gun from the baggage and then started to shoot. The investigation very early. No guesses on motive just yet. Law enforcement officials, uh, they are getting the help from the FBI, from the ATF, as they move toward trying to find out what the motive might be. Meanwhile, President-elect Donald Trump said that he spoke with Florida Governor Rick Scott, who will give a press conference shortly about the matter. matter. Here in Washington, President Obama received a briefing from his uh, officials and has asked to kept, be kept updated throughout the evening. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Now back to you. Karen, thank you. Continuing coverage now, several of the witnesses to this afternoon's shootings are from the Columbus area. NBC4's Mark Taylor has been in contact with one of the witnesses at the baggage claim where those shootings unfolded. Mark? Well, Ellie, John Schlitcher and his wife and mother-in-law left Columbus this morning bound for vacation. They connected through Atlanta before landing in Fort Lauderdale. Now, they say they had just gotten their first bag from baggage claim when the shooting began. Slitcher says the shooter did not say anything, and he appeared to be firing randomly armed with a single handgun. He tells NBC News that people to his left and right were shot, and at one point, he and his family were just feet away from where the gunman was firing. He was holding a gun firing, and, and that's when I and my, my wife and my mother-in-law, we, we went immediately to the ground, and um, he continued firing. At, and I know that at one point he stopped and reloaded and continued firing again. Um, there were just horrific, it was a horrific scene. Um, the people that were killed were right next to where we were. And, and one gentleman who was uh, shot, they were almost, I think all of them were shot in the head. Now, Slitcher said there appeared to be only one gunman and he surrendered to police. He and his family were not hurt. He says other travelers tried to give medical attention to those that were injured and that police arrived on scene quickly to move people to safety. Mike and Ellie, back to you.